Namaste. As a part of multi attribute decision making method, today we will be discussing on multi objective optimization on the basis of ratio analysis, shortly called as Mura. Mura method was widely used because of computational time is fast as well as very less number of mathematical formulations are used. Let's start. Barrus introduced Mura in the year 2004 as an objective method. In this method, the desirable and undesirable criteria are used simultaneously for ranking and hence it is a compensatory method. The method primarily employed for quantitative attributes only. Mura method majorly consists of two components. One is the ratio system which introduced in the year 2004. Later on, Barrers and Javdaskas introduced the reference point approach in the year 2006. Here in this video, it is all about the ratio system which widely used in many selection applications. Steps in Mura ratio system. The first step is based on selection problem the alternatives and attribute values in the decision matrix are considered as x then the matrix need to be normalized by using the formulae this results in x i j star as a normalized decision matrix second step is estimation of assessment values here the normalized data need to be multiplied with the weight criteria for all the alternatives. For multi-objective optimization, these normalized performances are added in case of beneficial attributes and subtracted in the case of non-beneficial attributes. Here, the weight criteria can be estimated by using the AHP process or entropy process and the links are given in the description below. Advantages of using Mura method As said earlier, the Mura method widely used because computational time is fast as well as very number of mathematical formulations are used. Apart from this, this method can be coded in any programming language with ease. Let's make a case study for knowing the evaluation procedure of Mura. Here, the selection of industrial robot consider from this reference general paper. In this selection process, the attributes are load capacity, repeatability, maximum tip speed, memory capacity and manipulator reach. Where the load capacity, maximum tip speed, memory capacity and manipulator reach are beneficial attributes means maximization and repeatability is a non-beneficial attribute means minimization. The alternatives considered here are 7. 7 models of industrial robots are shown here. Let's open the spreadsheet and copy the decision matrix from the published general paper. 